up, Mark? Diane, happy new year. Happy new year. How are you? Good to see, Good to see you. you. So what are we doing so far from the beach? I'm used to meeting you up at the beach side and now we're in Hillcrest. I actually hopped on the eight freeway, which I haven't done for a while. <laughs> now, I mean, you know, it's a new year. We're in Hillcrest right now. Mm -hmm. Really cool spot. Two and a half miles to downtown. I mean, they have shops, restaurants, yeah. clothing, fashion, walkability. I mean, it's just a, a really true, fun community. What I like about it is that in the evening time, it's pretty lively and entertaining. Absolutely. Up and down the you street. know, and we obviously, which is kind of weird, had quite a bit of rain lately. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of people out right now, but I mean, when the sun's out, this place is buzzing. You're looking fit. Cool. You feel good with that? I feel good. I feel yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> My friend Chris and Alex own this place. Okay. It's called Freshy Hillcrest. And came here to get some great healthy stuff. So. Ah, that's a secret, huh? You got <laughs> okay. it. Why don't we cruise in and take Let's a look? Okay. Alex. Hey, Mark. What's Good up, to see man? You again. Good to see you, man. How are you? Happy Hello. New Year. How are you? This is Diane. Diane, nice to meet you. What are we having today? Dude, I'm going the usual. All Thank right. You. I was going to say, out. what are you guys known for here? So it Mark's, smells delicious. Mark's go-to is the Oaxaca bowl, okay. uh, typically with chicken. Uh, so anything starts out vegetarian, we can add chicken steak, to tofu, or falafel to anything that you oh would like. Oh my goodness, all these fresh uh, ingredients. My mouth is watering. <laughs> yeah, I have to agree with Mark's choice. The Oaxaca bowl Oaxaca? is awesome. Okay. Uh, the pango bowl, which is the one on the cover there, also pretty killer. Any salad on here can also become a wrap. Oh, so fantastic. Oh, cool. Choices. Mark's fine. I'm going gonna, gonna to pick everything on the menu. If you yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of Mark's oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, of Mark's mine, two oh. each. <laughs> Forgot my wallet. It looks like it's on fresh oh. today. That's OK. We'll put, it on, we'll put it on your tab. But we'll get no. started for you. OK, cool. Thank Thanks. you. Sure. Diane, yeah. you did not mess around. You ordered everything on the menu. Listen, I brought my stretchy pants. A girl can eat, so I might as well dive in, right? We'll I'm actually back. really glad I forgot my wallet today. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably gonna have to bring her to lunch more often though if she orders like this. Exactly, so Alex, obviously we have a lot of fun varieties here. Um, tell us a little bit about some of these different entrees and what you have. And yeah, so not quite everything on the menu, but certainly a good start. We'll get the rest later if you really want it. Um, so starting right here, we've got our Pangoa Bowl with steak. Um, so that's probably one of the top two sellers, if not the top one seller globally for Freshie. Um, it, it's an awesome bowl. It's got lots of flavor, lots of crunch. Um, I love throwing a little steak in there. It serves with a spicy barbecue sauce, so that one's pretty seller. Uh, this one here is our Metaboo Salad. Um, got kale and spinach and spring greens. Uh, best part about this one, in my opinion, a little goat cheese, a little mango, something to kind of liven it up. Uh, over here, we've got our Oaxaca bowl. Uh, this is That's Mark's my favorite, That's as my well as my yeah. favorite. Pass that um, I, <laughs> love this, I love this bowl because it's a half kale base and a half rice or quinoa base. So you're really right. getting like kind of the hybrid between a salad and a bowl. So it's, it's light, but it's filling, uh, lots of flavor. So this is very good. This is our spicy lemongrass soup. Um, soup? I would nice. say one of the things that people probably don't know right off the bat is we have really good soup offerings. Um, the spicy lemongrass soup is killer. The broth is made every morning here in house. You can't forget the juices too, right? That's I can't a... forget the juices, yeah. yeah. Um, Interesting ingredients too. Yes. Carrot, sir. apple, ginger, beet. You like beets? I yes. love beets, yeah, we were talking about that. I love the red juice, uh, mm. for sure. And like we were uh, mentioning earlier, just a kind of a refresh on these recently uh, with the addition of the cold press and then serving them in bottles. Just more portable, just a better way to create a juice in general. So we're really excited to have these. We've only had them out for about a week now and we can barely keep them on the shelf. So it's been awesome. Yeah, it worked out great. I mean, I did the cleanse. I've heard about them a lot, never done one. And so I was like, oh, I'll just do the one day. My buddy Chris, the other owner, was like, come on, dude, let's like try to at least do three to five. I'm like, five days on juice? But I did three days, and it actually worked out great because you get a really nice salad as well. I'm not going to lie, I was a little hungry, and I was ready to eat after that, but it felt great, lost some pounds, and actually had great energy throughout the day. So having these is awesome. Yeah, and that's actually this salad right here, the Meta Boost, that goes at the into okay. the, the juice plants. And yeah, it's a great way to get ready for the beach or yeah. get ready for vacation. Uh, another cool. interesting thing is that everything that leaves the restaurant biodegrades in 90 days. So we call that Mission Green. So we have pulp bowls that biodegrade, uh, the forest knives and spoons, they all come out. They're all made of potato starch, so they biodegrade as well. So um, it's cool that when you send somebody out of the restaurant, everything they go out of there is never going to show up on the side of the street. It's never going to stick around in the landfill for the next 10,000 years. Like. Uh, it goes out and becomes part of the earth again, which is 
uh, another thing I think we all like a lot about this. Yeah, what a fitting concept for the San Diego lifestyle. Yeah. I think what else is kind of cool is this is your third location because you have one in PB and then you have one downtown the Spreckles Theater right. and then now we're on Hillcrest. So obviously you've heard kind of some activity, maybe some planes, trains, automobiles outside, but I mean, we're literally right on University, which is awesome because yeah. we're sitting in this enclosed patio area with these doors that open up. So, I mean, you're able to enjoy a fresh, awesome meal or juice or nice coffee and just enjoy and you're right in the heart of, heart of Hillcrest. So it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's quiet, it's protected. Um, when the few days a year we do have rain, uh, you can hide and hear from it. The thing I like about it is it's all the benefits of being outside and kind of none of the drawbacks. These little guys are calling my name. What are these things? Yeah, so those are our energy bites. Um, probably, you know, they take up the smallest amount of space, but they are a very popular item. So that is peanut butter, rolled oats, chocolate chips, honey, and unsweetened coconut. Uh, rolled in little balls. We sell them in two packs, uh, ready to kind of grab and go. Makes a good on-the-go snack or a good dessert in, in case your four bowls didn't take away. <laughs> and I'm not going to... My kids love those. Yeah. They're, they're very good. We uh, tell them that they're cookies. They're like, oh, ah. Yeah. And pretty much, right? I mean, <laughs> it's, cookie it's, it's got yeah. the same, kind of the same effect. A couple other things I guess we should mention. Um, we're right next to F45 here in Hillcrest, which is awesome. So uh, it's a good relationship to be able to go get your exercise on and then walk over here and uh, fuel your body the right way. Brock, the owner over there, has been stellar to us from kind of the very beginning. And he comes over here and eats pretty often. So that's been cool. Catering, because in real estate we have broker caravans and stuff okay. like that, so I know I talked to Chris a little bit about it, but we're going to get you guys in the catering aspect of that, so just talk briefly about that. Yeah, so I think uh, catering is one of the things that we're finally really bringing online uh, and something that we're, we're really proud of. Another thing we made some recent changes to, but um, I mean, how many times have you seen a sandwich box, you know, roll through or pizza or all of those things that people cater with? And finally. Uh, you don't have to be, you know, exhausted after you eat your midday lunch, right? You can kind of energize. Uh, we've got great wrap boxes. We've got group salads. Uh, we have Energy Bite platters. So uh, if you wanted those, there's just like 64 of them in a giant bowl. So you can feed the whole office, which is really <laughs> cool. But it's all available through catering. Uh, and I think that's really nice. It's a good uh, addition to what think people normally bring into the office. Uh, a good healthy thing, which, you know, once again, kind of fits the Indigo lifestyle. So. Yeah, I, and the, the one crazy part, a lot of times when we associate healthy, we kind of think like, oh, it might not be as good. Yeah, but bland diet. It is awesome. It's my wife's go-to. The kids love it. They have great little like quesadillas in the morning and stuff like that. So not only is it good for you, it tastes great. It would, wouldn't be worth it if it didn't taste good. Uh, and maybe that's one of the things we will have to overcome is showing people that food that's really good for you can be really good and really satisfying. You know, it's not just salads. There's yeah. bowls, there's burritos, there's all kinds of ways to eat good food uh, and feel satisfied. All this talk is making me hungry. Let's dig in, yeah? Yeah. I'm ready. Well, it's all biodegradable. <laughs> <right? laughs> My first <line. laughs> Let's do it. Cool. Priscilla, I am so happy to be here. I feel like this has been a long time in the making. Yes. One of our favorite places to come and yes. definitely a staple for people. happy to introduce to you Franco Tazzoni. He's a dear friend of mine. We know each other for 19 years. Wow. He actually gave me my first job Aww. when I first moved <laughs> to San Diego. So uh, it's, it's truly an honor. Well, thank you for having me. It's us. a blessing to have you both here. Uh, Priscilla is very dear to my heart. And um, she helped me create uh, the food uh, empire that we are today. And this is part of what she does today in her real estate business, taking care of people. It's the most important thing. It was truly an honor. I mean, it was the best times of my life. Right. One of, yes, I met. And there's more to come. More to come, <laughs> even more, yeah. And it's, I mean, it's so true. You are so talked about in this town. I mean, you. your food is incredible. What made you want to open this restaurant? Uh, this is my fifth restaurant now in San Diego. I moved here from, um, Italy, Canada, Australia, San Diego. I chose San Diego. It reminds me a lot of Italy and Australia. Um, still an Aussie citizen, but I'm very welcomed here in San Diego. I feel I'm part of the community. You're I cheer for the home team. <laughs> I cheer for the home team. Um, this location is very special to us. It's going to be uh, 10 years going on in July. And uh, of my five restaurants, this is my favorite. 
We have great community, neighborhood support. Um, it is just a great location. Well, you're a resident of Pacific Beach, so it makes I even am. more oh, special. And it, it's just rewarding, uh, finally, to hit the nail on the head and uh, have a successful restaurant where the neighborhood appreciates our food and our comfort. That's successful indeed. But <laughs> I also think his success, I mean, when you come here, you feel like you're part of the family. And that yeah. has always been Franco's. I have to attribute that also to my staff. My true, staff true. is phenomenal. Incredible. Um, I think any key business, if you retain your personnel and you grow with them, it's very rewarding to everyone. Right. True. And you just got a new partnership too. Uh, I did, yeah. Jose uh, Ramirez just joined us and he's been with me for the last 20 years wow. and I'm happy to have him on board. Why? Because I love him. <laughs> he does incredible work and he eventually will give me a day off. Right, there you go, that's <laughs> He's the He's the boss key. now. So he helped you prepare these beautiful dishes? Yes. Are these some of your classic? So, um, the ravioli rossi we've had, it's a staple dish. We've had this on the menu for the last 20 years, dating back from... Uh, well, dating back from La Terraza. This from is La Terraza. my favorite. So actually, going back 25 years. Yes. Always kept it, it's a, a favorite of everyone. Uh, we've introduced the uh, spaghetti romano. This is a uh, pecorino uh, cheese nest with pesto spaghetti and a fresh uh, burrata that we get every uh, week uh, from Puglia, Italy, and pistachio nuts. We feature burrata is our staple uh, to go. Enoteca is a cheese haven <laughs> for cheese lovers. So we have four burratas on the menu and weekly we introduce a burrata special. And this week we have a burrata carrozza, which is a breaded burrata uh, served with uh, some microgreens and heirloom baby tomatoes, local, grown. And the beauty about this is a, it's a warm cheese and when you break into it, it's just mm -hmm. explodes, explodes in your mouth. The ravioli lobster is filled with seafood, uh, shrimp in a lobster reduction sauce. And that's my favorite. I know, she saw I'll that come out. Have, yes, <laughs> every time. And then it's always paired with a delicious wine too, right? All so our experience. wines, yes, all our wines are from Italy and we uh, feature 13 regions. All the wines are paired with our food. My staff is really equipped with uh, their knowledge how to pair wines and it makes a big difference. And it eases the first date, right. you know, where the guy comes in and he goes, oh, the wine situation, what am I gonna choose? <laughs> so the waitress will say, I recommend this. And he's like, oh, thank God. I, I and take it. And There's we'll a delicious. lot of single men out there who just took note and they're gonna yes. come to Asia. They're gonna come here. You know, and you know, wine is, uh, everyone loves beer in San Diego, but wine really complements uh, an evening especially with Italian food and other Mediterranean foods. It makes the occasion special, the food, you know, it's a it perfect does. combination. It's a perfect combination. Perfect combination. Yes. And you've been enjoying yeah. this for 20 years, so what, I mean, you see his passion. Yes. What do you love most about um, I mean, working for Franco, it just opens, you know, it makes, being in real estate, it really helped develop my real estate yes. business. So the passion that he has for the food, his family, I feel, that's what makes this place special. Every dish has a story. Your mother, I have had, I was blessed. I am blessed to know his family. His father um, lives in my heart. I mean, he's, it was a, in, incredible to watch them creating the food with Franco back in the days. Yeah. At your oh. kitchen or La Terraza and... My father loved you, by the way. Oh. He, he did, and he always said, you know, um, and I think we had this conversation, do what you want to do and do it with passion. Yes. And if you do it with passion, you will be rewarded. And that's what I learned. That's what you're doing right yeah. now. Yeah, and that's what I learned with Franco. Do with passion, do what it is. You never work a day in I your life. It. And we had fun while you're doing, and that's what I'm trying to do with real estate also. And you certainly are. You two are incredible. And thank you so much for showing me all about your passion from the food to the table. And I am so hungry now, but I think we need to enjoy this food because I can't stand it any longer. <laughs> me neither. The food is ready for us. Yes. Great. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for joining us at Enoteca Adriano.
What we all love about Garnett Avenue and Pacific Beach is that you walk up and down the street and you've got a variety of great food, craft beer, and wine. Today, Steve is going to show me a place where you don't even have to leave your seat to try all of that good stuff. All right, Steve, it seems like we are in beer lover's paradise. Along with your guests, why don't you tell me where we're at and uh, who's joining us today? So we've got Sean, he's the general manager. We're at Barrel, Barrel Republic in PB. You know, San Diego is the craft beer capital of the country, maybe the world. And how do you try all these breweries? There's so many of them, oh, hundreds of breweries in San Diego. You come to a place like Barrel Republic, they have 40 plus taps, multiple locations, and just a really cool concept. Um, Sean, tell us a little bit more about what you guys are doing here. Sure, so we are, we're a self-serve beer bar, a self-serve gastro pub, <clears throat> uh, to put it accurately. Uh, we offer our guests the freedom to pour. They can pour as much or as little as they like of anything that we have on tap. Uh, we have over 50 taps at each location, mostly craft beers, uh, but we also have wine on tap and some non-alcoholic options as well. They can pour their own. Can you walk us through that? They're given a risk. Sure, there. sure. So a guest uh, who comes to Barrel Republic will start a tab with okay. uh, uh, you know, a debit or credit card, just like any other bar tab. You know? uh, but with that, we, we give you a, a wristband that has a little chip in it. This gives you access to pour as much or as little as you like of anything that's on tap. The system will measure what you pour and charge by the ounce. It's a lot like uh, the gas station where you pay for yeah. what you pump or a frozen yogurt where you're, you're just getting charged uh, for the volume that you're, you're taking with you. That's exactly what we're doing here but with beer. I'm like a kid in a candy store. You walk in so many different options here. For someone maybe that's new at, at tasting beer and getting accustomed to it, what would you recommend or how would you recommend going about trying a few? So you can come in here, get your wristband, get started and really the world is yours. Now you can kind of go off on your own expira yeah. exploration and and you know just kind of try you know whatever your heart leads you towards um, but we also have you know our, ourselves working here uh, even though we're not literally pouring the beers for you and handing them to you we're still uh, um, craft beer enthusiasts ourselves and so we're always happy to answer any any questions give some guidance and, and sort of offer up the knowledge that we have about all the craft beers that we have on tap which is you know harder for maybe the average person to right. discern yeah mm -hmm. all local beer too right yeah they, they source locally and they've been doing it for five years very exciting for them just uh, had their five-year anniversary um, and I think you guys have a special beer for the five-year anniversary. Oh yeah, right? well we, yeah, we hit we hit our fifth anniversary so we reached out to um, Stone Brewing Company which is one of the, the more well-known uh, breweries in San Diego. Uh, they were willing to do a, a special anniversary beer for us so the Barrel Republic fifth anniversary beer is, is still on tap here. Uh, it's a, a hoppy sour, it's a, a kettle sour. We uh, involved uh, five different hops, hop varietals in uh, five hops five years so it's pretty pretty tasty. And something new uh, to the air also is the food, right? And then you added the food menu. Well, so so it's new to Pacific Beach. We've been okay. we've been serving food at our North County locations in Carlsbad Village gotcha. and Oceanside uh, since those locations opened. But uh, we've finally been able to bring our our, our menu to uh, to this PB location. Our kitchen is a 100% scratch kitchen. Uh, we don't use a freezer, so everything we make is is handmade in house, made fresh. Um, we're, we're, we're really excited um, to, to be bringing it to, to PB now. It smells delicious. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a classic great pairing, right? right? Good beer and good food. You can't have one without the other. Yeah. Right? What was your favorite, uh, some of your favorite things here? Try to. I mean, you can go around the world on beers. Yeah. I love IPAs, right? So anytime there's a, a new IPA that's kind of the style I like, you know, the hoppy, uh, kind of piney or citrusy, I like both of those. Um, and food-wise, everything looks great. Yeah. And location's perfect. I mean, obviously, you're just not too far from the beach, right? Yeah, Grab some beer, all food. three of our locations <laughs> are, 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 you know, yeah. in, in beach towns. Uh, um, we're, we're looking to expand, and we will. We will go to some areas that are, you know, a little, a little uh, off the coast. But, okay. uh, but so far, we are, you yeah, know, we're, we're a, a great vibe right by the beach. So we talk about the specials that you guys have here. We can start with happy hour. We do happy hour Monday through Friday uh, at all locations. Uh, um, it's 20% off all taps from 3 right. to 6 p.m. But we also, every Monday at each location, we do a really killer special with our uh, barrel burger. It's $6 for a burger and fries. Uh, we don't hold back on that burger either. It is a, it's a handmade seven ounce patty, 
Boston and Ground Chuck. Um, then on Tuesdays uh, uh, here in PB and in Oceanside we have trivia. On Thursdays here in PB we do a college discount for college students in the area. It's 20% uh, off, uh, off all the taps even after happy hour. You know, every, every week we have something that's going on here. Thursdays we'll also be doing live music coming up too. Very yeah. cool. And then seasonally you participate in San Diego Beer Week, right? We'll feature some extra special stuff during San Diego Beer Week, which is usually at the beginning of November. We'll do tap takeovers and, and beer events throughout the year as well. So tap takeover is like, you know, Fall Brewing or another brewing company comes in and they've got a large selection of taps that they normally wouldn't have, right? Right, right. We'll feature we'll feature many brews from a single brewery, and and usually they'll they'll be bringing something you know a little unique or a little extra special um, that you wouldn't normally see on regular tap lists or, or grocery store shelves. You know, mm. You'd be able to try something a little a little special. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. It seems like there's never a dull day at Barrel Republic then. There's always something for every day to try, right? Yeah, uh, it, it, every time you come back, since we rotate the, the, the beer list, everything's gonna be different. We even update the food menu a couple times a year. So there's always something different to try. And that's, that's what we like to do, keep things fresh, keep things interesting. Very important, and that keeps people coming back, you know, five years strong, and here's to the next five. Yeah, so far, so good. What a great location to uh, try a variety of beers and amazing food, right? Thank you. Yeah. And the heart of PB, really. And then after that, you can even walk to the beach. Yeah, we're right there. <laughs> what better way. All right, guys, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's so great to see everyone again. Good you to too. see you. You too. Thank you. This area is beautiful driving yes. up here. It yeah. is. One of our Delta favorites. is a beautiful master plan community. You know, families are really drawn to this area because of the amenities, the parks, the schools, especially the schools, uh, some of the top in the country. Yeah, and there's so much um, new development also here and things to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, t tons of amenities here. There are several pools, parks, rec facilities and uh, families are really tight here, especially during the holidays. Yeah. It's great to see because this place is full of kids and families and that, that's why people want to be and here. Dogs and, and, dog and dogs and dogs. And dogs, yeah, <laughs> of course, yeah. So I'm excited to see this house. Yeah. yeah, can't wait to show you. You know, there's a lot of things that go into the preparation of a sale of the home. It's yes. the number side of things and putting the, the, putting the deal together, which I love. It's the emotional aesthetics. Side. Yeah, the already, emotional side. Yeah, already, which we love. And then it's the showtime. Showtime. That's kind of a ritual I have. Okay, you gotta um, love me in on this ritual. Whenever I do <laughs> workshops, whenever I get uh, into a negotiation, or you know anything where there's some pressure, I like to just call it showtime, just like okay. that. Just Is that clap what you do? And you say showtime. Okay. It's showtime. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. You got it. Well, I'm already in love with this community. I want to live here, but I'm so excited to explore the inside of the house. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely. And I know you put a lot of hard work to get this ready as well. We did. Yeah, it's a three bedroom, three bath, just over 1,800 square feet. Beautiful. As you can see, the amenities in this house are top notch and it's a great little home. Yeah, we did some staging, some light staging before we, <laughs> we did. You know, get, yes. you know, before we put it up on the market, we always do that. And I know Amy always jokes that you're softy, but you are a numbers guy, yes. but Amy's very much the one who helps get this ready, right? Sure, I That's have the right. fun part, yes. for sure. Yep, I come in, I just work with the stager, with the homeowner. We move things around just a little bit. I mean, her home is lovely, so yes. we just kind of want to tweak a few things and just have it show the best that it can. I love that, yeah. the yin and the yang, everyone has their part, mm -hmm. even Fiona, right? Yep, she definitely out helps. the great buyers. Yes. yes. <laughs> she sniffs out some real good deals yeah. too. And I love that you're all color coordinated, yeah. so that's pretty. We do. We match. <laughs> She's today. a local celebrity, you can see that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little about the story of this house. Well, we have a um, woman that we met years ago, and she has kids, and this was her starter home. And when she came to us, yeah. she said, You know, I really don't want to buy a town home, don't want to buy an attached home. But it worked out great for her. She's got yes. a lot of equity in this house and she's gonna be rolling, in, rolling into it a new house. 
and uh, she needs more space. You know, yeah. the kids are getting older, they're in high school now, and she needs to get a bigger home. And I love that because, myself included, everyone's afraid to get that first house or they right. think they need to get a massive house. So this is a perfect yeah. example about moving up. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, we run into this, as you can imagine, all the time. Yeah. These move ups and move downs, we call them. Um, are just very common situations because in this particular situation, she actually needs the proceeds from this home sale to go to the new home that she's going to be buying. Oh, okay. So it's real intricate. It can there's a lot of moving Definitely. parts to it, and there's a lot of room for error too. Home buying and selling is complicated enough. Yeah. But having them both happen at the same time can be a little scary. It can be nightmares. <laughs> I actually ran into a woman at a workshop that I did for AMN Healthcare and she was telling me that she hired an agent to help her exchange property. She was selling her home, buying another one. The agent that she brought in helped her sell her home, but didn't actually get the purchase to happen at the same time. Oh, and wow. she said, Mike, you know, it was a big nightmare. I ended up in a hotel for a couple months. Oh my gosh. So that's kind of an example of what can go wrong. Yeah, that's, and yeah. I mean, what do you even do in that situation? That's why it's important to get an to agents that understand what's right. how to do this. Yeah, you really have to. There's a lot of room for error. You know, real estate is a highly emotional process. Yes. And every seller and buyer, you know, want to accomplish, you know, certain things and we're here to make sure that that happens smoothly. And in another case we had recently in the same neighborhood, we had a family that uh, was doing the exact same thing. We took their house in, we we got it all ready for the sale. Uh, listed it for $7.99. They wanted the proceeds of that house to go into the new house, and uh, we ended up finding the purchase side. Both homes closed escrow on the exact Perfect. same day. Yeah, we got 8:30 great. on the sales side, so they were thrilled to death. Right. And on the purchase side, they actually got 15,000 below the offering price on the purchase side, so they oh were my thrilled. Gosh. That's wow. the goal. That's what we want to accomplish in That's these situations. That's what we do. See, yeah. so it matters. And like you said, it's a highly stressful situation. So I know yeah. you're yes. so great working with the clients. Yeah. So when Mike's, oh, you're crunching numbers, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So while he's busy yeah. working on the sales side and the listing side. I'm doing my work on the buy side. I'm already out identifying properties, seeing what's going to fit their needs, and you know, helping to make that just very smooth in that and transition. And then whenever they get a little testy, <laughs> you sit through them. Just yeah. Fiona, please yeah. love me. Everything's going to be great. We promise we're going to close on your home yeah. on time. Oh, yeah. No, it's, she's uh, a big help, for sure. She's our emotional, emotional support. There. That's yeah. so true. Yeah. It's yeah. just the perfect family. Yeah. Perfect. And I mean, how excited is your seller now hearing stories like that, that she has something to look forward Definitely. to, that she's working with the team that knows yeah, what they're well, doing. Yeah, she's really stressed too. I mean, yeah. imagine she's buying a home. She wants, she's already identified the house that she yes. wants to buy. They're in a contingent sale themselves. Oh, wow. And she's getting this home ready to get sold. She wants to buy, it's, it's a lot of stuff. She's stressed and I keep telling her, I was like, let us take care of that stress for yes. you. And we'll take the calls at 11 p.m. We'll worry about the tough stuff. and. Hopefully well, that's can how you it find works me out. home? Yeah, I'm... Okay, sure, of course. <laughs> that would just make you feel so comfortable, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, well, that's the goal. That's well, the goal. I love it. So, what other exciting things do you have planned or you know, coming it's up? Holidays, New Year, yes. lots of new big things. We're very excited as a company. We have a new member on our, on our team. Oh, cool. We have uh, another Compassion for Paws event. And, always uh, my favorite. Thank you. You're and always, yeah. Yeah, you're always <laughs> are such a great supporter, and thank you so much. We had a great event uh, over the holidays and raised a bunch of money. and. We actually deployed some of that money to a few organizations today. Yeah, that's okay. awesome. Well, I think we got to take San Diego out to show them some of those events for Compassion for Paws because they let's would do love it. it. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. That'd be great. She would yeah. love it. She would love it. <laughs> well, it's so great seeing you. Yeah, thank We're you. We're looking forward to next time. Thanks for having Thanks, us. Thanks, Tony.